Okay, folks, so here is my number one video uh, in my series about how I'm losing weight. And the topic I'm going to talk about very briefly is just having the right motivation. Uh, make weight loss about your health. I'm looking off the screen here, reading on my, my computer screen. Make it about your health, not about your looks. Not about how you look in a bathing suit or in a, a dress or trying to get into size 34 pants or anything like that. Don't make it about that at all. Make it about your health. Um, you know, that's what's really motivating me this time is I realize I'm killing myself. And you've got to get to that point, I think, where you realize it's, it's really, it could end everything for you if you don't get yourself in some semblance of shape. And by that, I mean, I was 342, 43 pounds, 348 pounds. I think I might have gotten to 352 uh, over the summer because I went to Memphis with Nikki and I ate candy and pies and pecan pie and cakes and stuff and all kinds of rich foods. I think I got to 352 pounds this last time. And that's what I'm working my way down from now. So uh, then I found out I had diabetes. And my doctor, like I say, scared the crap out of me and told me all the things that could go wrong. Some of it's very bad that I don't even want to talk about, but things that could go wrong as a result of diabetes. And so I'm doing this for my health. I'm not doing it because of what I want to look like. I'm not doing it to get in shape for an event like a high school reunion or, you know, year before last, I thought, well, I'll get in shape so I can get around better at Gear Fest. I was going to go back to Indiana and do Gear Fest up at Sweetwater. <clears throat> and so... When I first made my video that I put in that intro a couple days back, uh, it was me talking to myself, trying to talk myself into getting in shape so I could go to Gear Fest and get around better because you have to walk 10 miles a day there. I'm going to uh, Gear Fest, and um, I'm not using this as necessarily motivation, but it does kind of, to get around at Gear Fest, you got to walk a lot. I'd like to have dumped a lot of weight between now and Gear Fest, which is like I have to leave on the 19th, I think, or the 20th. Of June but no it shouldn't be about an event you're going to it shouldn't be about a vacation you're going to go to it should be shouldn't be about how you're going to look that's really the, the worst thing to do I think you, you know you might be one of these people that has an ego where you lose 15 pounds and you think you've lost enough and maybe you need to lose 60 pounds and uh, people have distorted thoughts of what they look like you know me i know that as a six foot two inch guy about 240 to 250 with my kind of build that's about where i need to be and i'm in my two in the 290s now so i've still got a long way to go but i say i've come a long way and this is what's working my i guess my big point here out of this video is take your ego totally out of the equation i have that written down here <laughs> um so i'm not a I hope I'm not a real egotistical person. The fact that I do a bunch of YouTube videos, maybe it seems like I, I am. Uh, I try not to be. I realize what my limitations are. I realize I'm, even when I, if I get in great shape, I'm not going to be the best looking dude in the world for sure. <clears throat> uh, and so that really has no bearing. This, this is all about, and I think this is the best. I think this is the only really true solid motivation if you're extremely overweight. For, for, you, for those of you who are 15 pounds overweight, Probably this doesn't mean anything to you. If you're 60, 80, 100, 150 pounds, I have been a hundred and almost 150 pounds overweight. And that is a lot for a person uh, my height. Uh, and um, yeah, it was becoming very detrimental to everything. I'm, you know, for those of you who are in shape, might be watching this, uh, imagine strapping 130 pounds on your back and moving through the world. And that's what it's like. If, 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 you're, if you're a guy like me, 6'2", and you weigh 380 pounds, you are essentially carrying 130, 40, 50, 60 pounds, depending on what your build is, around this world. And, and you know, imagine if you went and put three sacks of concrete, or two sacks, I guess I said a concrete, sack of concrete, 70 pounds, put two of those on your shoulders and you walk around all day with that. That's what you're doing. Let me just go through the litany of what's hurting. My feet, of course, hurt. My knees hurt. My right hip hurts a lot from time to time. And uh, just lost almost all my energy, all my will to do my YouTube videos. Um, I'm very tired and I don't, wanna, I don't like to work. I'm a freelance at night. And I've got to get more focused on my freelance work. There's just a thousand things. I'm, I'm on my wind. I have no wind now. I went and uh, 
uh, dug holes for a a snowball bush that we bought and for a uh, dogwood tree. You know, barely had the energy to dig these holes. I'm having a hard time even just bending over and picking stuff, stuff up off the ground. When I have to get down on the ground myself and then get myself back up, it's very hard to do. It hurts. And I'm just, I feel almost arthritic just getting up and down off the ground if I have to sit on the ground or get down on my knees to work. I'm saying all this just so I can remind myself that if I, the, the thing I tend to do is lose 10 or 15 or 20 pounds and then start losing motivation. I feel a little bit better and man, I think I can eat again, eat crazy again, but I cannot do it. I can't. Get your motivation right and I think the best motivation is your health. Um, and my last little note that I made here for this episode, I said, just start eating right and moving around more and stick to it no matter what. Now, we'll talk more about what eating right is. I'm not going to, like again, I'm not saying I'm a fitness guru or anything. And most of y'all know what eating right is. You don't eat stuff slathered in butter. You don't put cream sauce all over everything. If you drink your coffee, you don't put half and half in it. I mean, uh, my wife would get mad at me for saying that, so... I'm going to get in trouble. <laughs> but you don't eat chocolate bars and, and a whole bunch of empty calories. You know, you don't go to McDonald's and supersize things. I mean, go go get you a cheeseburger or something once in a while. Get you some fries, but don't supersize it. You know, think about what you're doing. Just cut back. You know, you can do small things. We'll talk, I've got an episode about doing the small things. But we know what good eating is. We know it's more about vegetables and fruits and very lean meats and I and we're going to talk about not obsessing at some point that's going to be one of my episodes I'm kind of giving you a little preview but we're, we're going to talk about uh, just approaches to how you're thinking about your food number one thing though have the right motivation have it all about your health realize that every tiny step you make is making you healthier every time you get up and you move around a little bit uh, even if it's just walking around the house. If you get up and walk around the house and go do the laundry or go vacuum or whatever, go out and trim some bushes in your yard, go out and walk your crazy dog. I'm going to have an episode about walking the dog. Um, all these little simple things that you do, just look at every single one of them as motivation or as a means to an end uh, of, of motivating yourself or affecting your health. That's the number one thing I'm wanting to come out of this is, is some folks, if you've had battles and struggles over, uh, over losing weight, just get your mind right about it. And once you, got, once you free your mind, what the rest will follow is some song that said that. I don't know. But I, and I believe that's probably true. Listen, this is episode one. Episode two will come tomorrow. And I'll keep on going, say, probably 30 episodes in this little series. Peace to all who watch. Subscribe to the channel if you like.